Hello YouTube, uh, this is Gilbert from uh, GLC Lawn Care. Uh, today I just want to talk about on how to keep your employee, how to retain good employee for the for your business, uh, your lawn care business. Um, I've been seeing a lot of uh, video on YouTube, uh, guys talking about being solo, making more money. Uh, yeah, that's that's good, that's fine and dandy. But as a solo operator, there is a max, you know, that max work that you can take um, and you know there's no more advancement after that but if you have employee you know sky's the limit you know you can you, you can take as much job as you can keep hiring people you know and grow your business and maybe someday you're gonna be a, a multi-million company or maybe a billion dollar company like Brightview, Mainscape and US Lawn okay those are billion dollar companies um so i just want to talk about the few things that you need to work on in order to keep good employees to you in, in your company and you know so your company will grow uh number one is predictability of work okay most lawn care company uh it's seasonal work and you know during winter time they let go of their employees and ho hoping that they will see them again uh, the following season okay as a as a business owner of a lawn care company you need to start taking accounts taking contract that will give you work throughout the year okay when you hire people you need to guarantee 40 hours a week 52 52 weeks in in, in a year okay it, it should be all year round you know you can't you can't have an employee and when it's raining oh there's no work today you know you're not gonna make money okay you have to pay them if you're not cutting because of the rain because of the weather they still need to get paid okay i i know it's gonna be hard for a lot of business owner to to do that if you know especially in a lawn care if you're not cutting grass you're not making money so you, you you need to focus on your, your 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 business on taking accounts that will guarantee you work all year round and will guarantee you a, a monthly a monthly revenue you know even though you know it, even though it's it you have to cut it weekly and you have to skip a week and you still get paid the same amount okay um you're not gonna get that kind of accounts uh taking a, a residential account okay uh, the only way you can get that kind of kind of contract is uh if you take um commercial account you know you get paid um you know you get paid a set amount every month and you get paid all year round okay so you need to focus your your business on getting those kind of kind of contracts uh, those kind of accounts okay number two is uh expectation all right a lot of uh, small business lawn care guy that you know when they hire a new guy they were taking that you know it's gonna take 75 percent of the workload from them or 50 percent of workload workload from them um, you, you need to lower that expectation okay when you first when you hire your first employee you know it's not gonna take 50 percent of the workload out of you okay you probably uh, that one helper that you hire on the first time is probably going to take about 25 30 percent of workload you're still going to work harder than him uh you're going to work longer hours than him okay because you're the business owner okay that employee get paid per hour he's not going to care about the business as much as you care okay that's that's the bottom line you're not gonna you're not gonna find anybody that gonna work harder than you as a business owner okay so you have to lower your expectation you're gonna you're gonna hire your first employee and he it's just gonna take about 25 percent 25 percent of the workload out, out of you okay and you need to work on that okay I'm, I'm you know you have to motivate that that employee you know you have to provide him purpose direction and motivation that you know that he can make more money if he works harder okay and then you know once you get your first employee you know you keep growing and you can get your second employee 
okay and it keep growing and that first employee you know if you train him you know if you train him you give him the the purpose direction and motivation he's going to work his ass off and it's you know it's going to take about 50 percent of the workload from you okay so kind of lower your expectation on your first employee okay on your new employee in particular you know they're not going to work as hard as you okay you have to train them you have to motivate them to work hard for you okay that take take you know patient okay N number number three st stay professional okay you hire your first employee you know he's not t he's you know you're working hard you know you're paying him and you know he's not in your eyes he's not pulling his weight okay be patient okay stay professional okay i know frustration is going to come up you know you're going to get mad you're going to start yelling and that's not the way to, to go about it okay you have to stop take a deep breath and just realize that time will come that employee will get trained and will work hard for you okay so stay professional okay um you know employee gonna miss work um you know stay professional okay do not bring personal personal life okay your employee's personal life on his fucked up okay if he's been drinking the night before and he missed work the following day don't bring it up okay stay professional explain to him that you know he needs to come to work you know um and because you need him okay um if he can't do that you know you have to let him go you know just explain that you know you don't have to bring his personal life you know in, in a workspace okay that stay out okay be professional be tactful when you talk to your employees uh, don't be screaming yelling cursing at your employee okay that's that's not the best way to get your your employee motivated and you know to do their job okay yelling it's not gonna solve any problem okay uh, based from my experience um number four work hours okay um in my company i maintain monday to friday eight hours a day okay i tried not to work on weekends uh we don't work on sunday uh, i tried not to work on on saturday okay and it's been i think two seasons and we haven't worked on saturday okay work hours eight hours a day you know if it's been raining and you have to catch up you know then you can do a little bit of you know more than eight hours you know if it's worse if it were uh, rain um you know four days in a week that you have to work on saturday you know you have to work on saturday you know but like i said going back to the the first one you have to maintain 40 hours a week okay so if you work you know on saturday you know three days in a week you know you still have to pay your employee 40 hours okay if you do that you know you're going to motivate your employee to you know to to work hard for you okay because they they can see that you care about them all right you know i, I know it's you're going to take a hit that's a small business paying 40 hours if you only work uh you know 24 hours in a week okay but that's something that you have to uh you know keep in mind that you you know it's gonna eat up you know a lot of your uh your revenue um the last one is uh providing purpose direction and motivation okay uh, you know purpose you know you, you have to explain to your employee if you talk to them that if the business is successful they're gonna be successful if the business grow you know they're gonna make more money they're gonna advance you're gonna put more crews and you know maybe someday they're gonna be a, a, a district manager or a site manager okay so you know try to you know explain that to your, your employee you know you provide them purpose you know we're doing all this stuff you know because someday if the business is successful you're gonna be successful and you, you're gonna benefit from that okay um direction okay you have you have you have to explain to your to your employees that every count is important okay they need to do their best they need to do it to the standard 
not not skip uh you know not not to skip any uh what you call that not to skip anything okay get everything done in the standard that you show them okay um you know motivation you gotta motivate them okay um don't be a toxic leader or a toxic boss you know don't be you know all about yourself you know trying to make more money for yourself you know you have to you know if the business is successful you're making more a lot of money you have to bring your employee with you okay they need to benefit from that too okay um you know you have to sit down you know once a month or you know every other month you know i take my guys out we go eat lunch okay you know i talk to them you know any issues any uh, you know well what we need to improve as far as the business okay um i always talk to my crew chief um you know making sure that everybody uh working as a team you know if there's a if, if there's one that's not a team player you know i try to resolve the problem because you know having a crew that everybody have to work together like a clockwork okay so that's that's all i got so that's the five things that you need to do in order to maintain employees okay um uh, it's it's a difficult for a small business to have employees because um you know financially it will eat up a lot of your uh your your your, your income okay well what, what the business bringing but you know that's the only way you're gonna grow okay uh, the the more money you make you know you make sure that your your employee benefit from that okay uh, don't be greedy okay um, you know treat them well you know be a good boss you know be not not really a boss be a leader okay no don't be uh you know i think a, a leader is better than being a boss okay you know you show them the way you know you lead from the front you know i i ha you know i'm a retired military i have 20 years so you know i i i don't i don't think myself as a boss you know i i think uh, i think of myself as a leader you know trying to lead these guys to you know be finance if i'm financially successful if this business is success successful you know everybody that works for me will be successful too okay so th that's that's the thing that you need to work on um in order to maintain employees okay uh solo is good no headache uh, i won't say it's no headache because uh you know if it start raining and you're behind your schedule and you're all by yourself you know you'll be stressing out so it's better to have help you know try to keep that help and you know you know the sky's the limit for your business okay that's all i got keep mowing keep growing glc lawn care out